Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. Jaspie's 13 box sky hook. That's my sky sky hook high end basketball mixer. It's a random team break plus we are giving away that Jason Tatum that you see right there. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. What's that all the way? Oh, that's the same Jason Tatum over there. It's the same thing. I'm just zoomed into it. So there you have it. Thanks everyone. These are the boxes that are involved here. So at, at the end, we'll just re-randomize everyone's names and the name on top gets the uh, Jason Tatum. Uh, the second name will get any and all points. Hopefully there won't be any points here. But There are the boxes right there. Big thanks to all of these folks right here. We did do a number of cello pack breaks to give away spots. So thanks to everyone who got into the cello pack breaks and congrats to the winners right there. And of course, thank you to the people who bought spots straight up. We appreciate that as well. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Three and a one, four times for each list. One, two, three, and a one, fourth and final time. After four times, we got James down to Johnny. Three and a one, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and a one, fourth and final time. After four times, we got the Jazz down to the Knicks. All right, so James, you have the Jazz. Jeremy wants to trade. Make an offer, Jeremy. Jeremy, uh, you've got the Pelicans. Jeremy will trade that to somebody. James with the Jazz, John with the Cavs, Pano with the Hornets, Stephen with the Timberwolves, Bradley with the Grizz and the Warriors. Matt with the Pacers, Jeremy with the Pelicans once again, Stephen Kelly with my Lakers, Jeff with the Nuggets, Mike with the Celtics, Zach with the Heat, Bradley with the Magic, Derek with the Bucks, William with the Clippers, Jeremy with the Spurs, Derek with the Mavs, Bradley with the Nets, Asa with the Trailblazers, Bradley with the Bulls, uh, Eastwood with the 76ers, Rob with the Thunder, Zach with the Raptors, Derek with the Pistons, Stephen Kelly with the Suns, Matt Hedges with the Rockets, Jason with the Hawks, Mike with the Wizards, Bradley with the Kings, and Johnny with the New York Knicks. Now I'm going to pause the video after I alphabetize this right here. I'm going to pause the video and allow you to kind of digest the teams that you have. Take a glance again at the boxes that are in this break. And while while the video is paused, I'm going to be setting up the uh, the boxes on here on this table as well. We'll be right back. Stick around. And we're back. Some little some trade offers were definitely happening, but at the end, no deals were done. It's all good though. Here on Tuesday, the 24th, the 13 box Skyhook basketball mixer. Jeff with that last spot mojo nugget star next to his name, and there's everybody else. New toner, as I'm sure everybody has noticed. Love a love a good new toner right there. There's the Jason Tatum we're giving away. Already graded for you. It's pretty nice. He's having a fantastic run before the season was interrupted. We'll put this, where should I go? Let's put this right here. There you go. Don't let me forget that. It's over there. This this camera up there shows the Tatum right there. All right. Um, what should, should we just start with that? You know what? I want to get these salo packs out of the way. So let's do these first. And then we'll work our way around the table. And then we'll... We'll end with that NT hiding right back there. I think that would be a good way to end it. In fact, we're ending the night with a NT break. It's going to be uh, NT Collegiate Basketball. Select will be a little bit later, Jeremy. I'm going to go through maybe some of these base-heavy products first, like these Donruss boxes, then those two Elite boxes in the back right over here. Probably work around to certified, then to select, then to spectra, so on and so forth. All right, good luck. I can open these packs. This hanger, this hang tag format doesn't seem, it's like seems fine until you do them in bulk. And then you're just like, ah, oh, that's kind of annoying. I guess no one really buys these in bulk, right?
God, what are these kids playing with? Osmo? What is Osmo? What? It's a tablet, but a... Uh, wow, these kids are... But it shows up on the screen. They're learning. Wow. Who has an Osmo for their kids? That looks pretty awesome. It's like a starter tablet, but with a pad on the on the bottom. Then the screen is up here, right? There's a pad on the bottom here, and you put stuff on it, and it shows up on the screen. So there's still something tactile the kids can play with. It's amazing. What will they think of next? Uh oh. Maybe they should, they should think of better ways to to do this. Time to open up some more packs. I like the lip of the pack right here, in case you're wondering. Seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, LPP. A stand, small. The the white packs have the red, white, and blue parallels, which I believe are exclusive to these hang tag products. So yeah, it's pretty intriguing. I know that those red, white, and blues are a little more shorter print, or are only in this set right here, so they're a little more rare. So if we pull what seventeen, eighteen, so it's this is this guy's ear, right? Tatum's ear, or not? It's not this guy's teammate, former teammate, Tatum's ear. So that's what we're looking for. Just saw Celtics. In it. Almost there. Stay on target. This will be the most. This part, if you're watching the replay of this video, I would just scan, fast forward a little bit, scan ahead a little bit until I'm done with all this. This is probably the most ob obnoxious point of the break, which I'm trying to, trying to move first. All right. So let's just take a look at these really quick before we get into the red, white, and blues. Remember, this is 17, 18. Good luck. Here we go. You're not going to find too many autos in here, but every once in a while, you might find a nice silver rookie. That's kind of what we're looking for here. I'm assuming it's the usual veteran commons not shipping. I'm sure that's what the description says. The greens are not numbered as opposed to, uh, as opposed to select, which I think would be out of five in select. Kelvin, hello. What what year is this? We are still in 2020. I guess LeBron silver we should save. It's Cavs edition. That'll go to John. There's Kemba. I'll still go to the Hornets. Cal Fultz, and I'm saving that just for personal reasons for, for the Sixers. I'm setting that aside so it can get sleeved up. Um, I feel like he still has a shot. He still has got a bit of a ceiling. 
Oh, I see, Kelvin. Kelvin's suggesting he wasn't sure after all these packs I had to open. Yeah, welcome back three years later. And there's Mirza Teletovich. Bucks auto going to Derek Melanson. It's a year after Ben Simmons' rookie year, by the way. Otherwise, that, would, that card would be muy importante. Dan, I'm sorry, I pause at this because Dan Smith Jr. was was I thought gonna be I thought he was gonna be a contender. I thought it was gonna be somebody. You know that he could be somebody. Thought he was gonna be somebody, but I don't know. Got got traded to the Knicks and then just kind of wallowed there. I guess. All right. Now the red, white, and blue packs. All right, here we go. All of these will ship, of course. These are considered inserts. I think I saw a Bam out of bio in there somewhere. He turned out to be pretty, pretty good. There he is. And that's his rookie year, of course. Rookie, bam, out of bio. Nice. Sam hopes I'm right about Fultz. Yeah, I hope so too. I mean, I think, I think if if Victor Oladipo can make the change that kind of make the, let's do eighteen nineteen first. If Victor Oladipo can make that kind of change, you know, kind of reach that ceiling, then I think Fultz can too. I think maybe the Sixers just wasn't a... I mean, maybe the change of scenery could just do him well. Maybe the Sixers wasn't a good spot for him. You know, I feel like just both, both sides, team and player, just kind of got off on the wrong foot, you know... Shoulder issue this, when's he coming back? I'm coming back now, I'm coming back later. We're shutting him down, I'm fine, I'm not fine. You know, like it just seemed seemed like it was just sort of all over the place. You know, so. But he's still, still a number one pick. You know, aside from whatever possible shoulder issue there is, it's not like, it's not like he's a he's a big man with knee issues. You know, he's not like a a seven footer with with knee problems or something like that. I was trying to get them right side up, but I don't think it matters. I think Donner's basketball just flips them around anyway. So maybe new scene, change of scenery, a coaching staff that wants to work with Fultz. You know, there's some value in that number one overall pick. Maybe he turns out to be a little bit of a surprise, or at least 
at least serviceable. Who am I looking for here in this this set? SGA is pretty nice. Oh, this is Doncic here. And Trey Young. Mo Bamba. And we've got significant signatures. Jim Barnett. Old warrior, Jim Barnett. Everyone remembers Jim Barnett. Right? Everyone remembers old Jim Barnett. Just hitting those sweet mid-range jumpers at the Cow Palace. Those are the days. It's when basketball was basketball, you know what I mean? <laughs> Spencer Dinwiddie to 99. Giannis' his brother. Oh, he does. Oh, he's an announcer now as well for your for your Warriors, Kelvin. Nice Doncic. Radio or TV? Mavs. Derek Melanson. All right. Well, I guess everyone does know Jim Barnett up there. Up in Northern California, anyway. Warriors fans do. All right. That's not John Moran. Mr. Wendell. Wendell Carter Jr. That'll be for the Bulls. Bradley with the Bulls. Ah, he used to be your TV announcer. But for some reason, moved to radio, possibly for health reasons. Yeah, I think TV is a little, is a bit less grueling, I think. And they may arrange something where he, where he just, uh, does home games perhaps too. I know Vin, Vin Scully in the last sort of handful of years of his career, they would start, he stopped doing like East Coast games like 10, 15 years ago and only traveled for, only traveled for like uh, division rival games. So NL West games. And then eventually, I think they just cut him down to just, just home games. So they wouldn't, won't put old Vin Scully on a plane that often. The travel can be kind of grueling. No Trey Young. Got the Doncic. There he is. Trey Young rated rookie card Jason with that one. He got the Hawks in the team random. Who has uh, former basketball players on their radio or TV for your favorite team? Does everyone have a former NBA player on their broadcast staff, whether it's TV or, or radio? I know the Lakers, their Lakers radio has Clay Thompson's dad, Michael Thompson, does color commentary on, on the radio.
Yeah, sure. Why not? Stephen Kelly. And John. Alright, what year is this? This is twenty this is current year, twenty nineteen, twenty twenty. Yeah, so for Lakers Radio, Michael Thompson, former Laker. In the Showtime era, I want to say. Clay's dad does the uh, does the color commentary. All right, then we'll move into. You can see the two boxes on the top camera right there, but we'll do those two elites next. And then we'll circle around to, oh, we got Mosaic hiding back there too. Yeah, maybe Elite, a couple Elite, maybe that Certified, maybe the Select, maybe that Contender's Optic in front of us right there, Spectra, Prism Blaster, Mosaic, Gold Standard. Close out with NT, something like that. Oh. Kind of had to had to lean to that power there. That was dangerous. We got Marc Gasol to 99. Darius Baisley, Luka Samanich, Admiral Schofield to 99. That's for the Knicks. Johnny Cannon with the Knicks. Kayvon Looney to 25. I'm looking for Bradley and the Warriors. Ja or Zion, that's what we're looking for in here. Ja or Zion. Sabonis to 99. Jaron Jackson Jr., Demboya. And we've got Kyrie Thomas, Signature Series. Pistons, that's going to go to Derek. Zions or Jaws in this entire box? 
Not that I notice anyway. Ah, there's a John ja Moran. Play to the whistle, Joe. Come on. Jay Crowder to 99. It's Nikhil Alexander Walker, Carl Anthony Towns. At least we found the John ja Morant for Bradley and the Grizzlies. All right, older elite, I think. Wow, even older elite? So that's 13, 14. There's 12, 13. Who's, who's in the 2012 draft class? Was this a strike year? I forget what year was the strike year where they added two draft classes together. I think it's around here. Was it this year? Because 1213 may have added 1112 12, and 1213 draft classes. Could have been this year, I think. I don't know. Someone confirm or deny that. Anyway, this is 1213 Panini Elite Basketball. Yep. 2012, Derek, is Anthony Davis, rookie Anthony Davis. Bradley Beal is a first-round pick here, third overall. Damian Lillard, sixth overall. Andre Drummond, ninth overall. And then I think, oh, Draymond is 35th, 35th pick, early second-round pick. Chris Middleton is a middle second-round pick who turned out to be, those two turned out to be pretty good. Then we've got Michael Kidd Gilchrist, Dion Waiters. Dion Waiters was a fourth overall pick. Dion Waiters, Harrison Barnes, Terrence Ross, Austin Rivers. Um, and those guys are in this class. Oh, yeah. Who mentioned? I think it was William L., maybe? I just want to give the right. I just saw this flash by the screen. I think we, and we had. Forgot about it, actually, and didn't have a chance to talk about it. Steve Ballmer, Clippers owner, purchased the forum where the Lakers used to play for, I think it looks like, $400 million. That's crazy. I think that paves the way for him to build a new arena in that, uh, in that area. The forum, after the Lakers left, it kind of sat empty for a little while. I think they did some stuff there, but, but they renovated it. And they completely redid the inside of it and turned it into a premier concert venue. Excellent sound there. I've seen a couple shows there. Um, saw Arcade Fire there, and they did a fantastic job there. Great spot to see a show. Oh, those are the Kobe packs, which go to the Lakers. So it looks like, from according to the ticker, the ESPN ticker, it says they're going to keep it a uh, they're going to keep it a music venue. And so I think that paves the way for him building a new stadium. And we got, look at that, James Harden autograph. 10 out of 99. That's pretty cool. Matt Hedges with the Rockets. Nice. You don't see a lot of his autos. Are these all flipped around this way? So, uh, Josh, unfortunately, no. We've got we got another break coming up. Um, a one-box break after this, but that'll be the last break of the night. Got a Ray Allen All-Star Relic. It's Pete edition of Ray Allen. That'll be for Zach. Now, no, no significant Suns or Lakers yet, Stephen Kelly. So Sean Corbett is saying that, let me show you the Trey Tompkins first, speaking of the Clippers. 
He's going to build in connection with the new football stadium. I see. All right, no worries, Josh. Thanks. We'll, we'll be back tomorrow. Clippers auto going to William Hawkins. John Jenkins, that's a numbered card. Kobe. Let's ship that Kobe too, why not? Twenty three out of twenty four, Vince Carter. Yeah, everything in that Kobe pack will ship. I'll try to pull as many Kobe's as I see him as possible. That's an insert, so that'll ship. That would have shipped anyway. And we got Terrence Jones. Rockets rookie inscriptions autograph going to Matthew Hedges. Ship it all, says Bradley. I mean, I don't think the shipping team wants to sort out Brandon Basses for you or Devin Harris's. Is. <laughs> There's Steve Nash. Right, that's correct. That that well, that's what I that's what I speculated that Bomber would or should do. So originally, as Sean was saying in the chat, the um, the Clippers wanted to obviously move out of Staples and build their own arena. They want to either use the Forum or build something close to the Forum. But Madison Square Garden, that entertainment group, owns the Forum and all the all the money they get from concerts and whatnot. Um. So they have like a radius clause, you know, there's, they can't be another sort of similar sized venue in that arena. So the football team doesn't count, but they can't have another similar sized venue in that area that would compete with their concert interest, basically, for that sizing. So they were, as Sean was saying, yeah, they're were, they were going to be like, well, it's bomber. If you build something here, we're going to sue you because you're going to you're going to be violating that that radius clause there. Or sue someone. Someone's going to get sued. Either the city or the contract or bomber. Probably everybody. So since that information came out, and this this has been in battle since since for like the last year, if not more. And then we we're just then I was just like, I think the next logical step was well, bomber, you're rich. <laughs> you either you either build it somewhere else, or you buy the form. And I guess eventually he did for four hundred million dollars. Just crazy. I think it's a good move. I guess it doesn't mean the Clippers are going to Seattle then. I just don't know where they're gonna I guess they can they've got space I don't know where they're gonna build it Sean you said in connection to the football stadium so oh I see so the football stadium build has inclu included an arena in all their models so they were, they were preparing for that That I did not know. That's interesting. All right, so this is 13 14. We got Andre Roberson, Jersey and Auto, rookie Jersey and Auto, 246 out of 599. OKC, Rob with that one. What, what are you saying, Kel? Kel, since MSG was like, ha, now we got him, he ain't going to buy. 
I personally think that they were going to sell anyway. They were, just, they were just trying to build the leverage to get the a price that they probably wanted. Because I think they knew that Bomber wanted to build it anyway. He was just going to do it. Dominic Wilkins, Jersey. Hawks, Jason. Carl Malone. Oh, I thought it might have been an autograph. No. Out of 68 for the Jazz. Die cut. Kind of a weird looking die cut there. Got Brent Berry, two color jersey and autograph. Throwback threads. Rockets edition. Four out of ten. Another rocket for Matt Hedges. Shane Larkin to 999. Danny Green die cut. We'll sleeve those die cuts. They're a little awkward. David Robinson, re just a relic. Throwback threads for the Spurs. The Admiral going to Jeremy 33. Artis Gilmore to 999. Ricky Leto to 999. No Giannis here? No, I guess not. All right, that was 1314 Elite. Now let's work our way over to 2019 and 2020 certified. So we're slowly easing into the good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. So where are they going to where do you think they'll build that arena then, Sean? I guess there's all sorts of space there. <laughs> I don't know exactly what... Here, no funny business happening here, but I'm just going to switch screens really quick. So there's the forum in the top left. That's a great concert venue there. There's SoFi in various stages of being built. There, The NFL network offices are supposed to be there somewhere, so there may be like a big complex over there. And then, I don't know, I guess there's, I guess there's plenty of space for... I guess there's plenty of space for another little arena there. They share the parking. I don't know. That area is going to be a mess, I think. Those roads leading into that area is pretty, pretty small. Oh, bottom left corner near Hollywood Park. That's not bad. Hi, Rory. Um, because we are a media outlet, Rory. And I'm also going from one private location to another private location. There's really no more than a few people that work in a 3,000 square foot store at any given time. I think to some extent they still want online businesses to keep something going in the economy. They don't want to close down the economy entirely, right? Shumo Okiki, Jersey and Auto. Nick Anderson, I would love to fill that five-star and then break it tomorrow. I think this mixer is probably going to bring me right to the end of the broadcast. And then we got a quick NT basketball break to do, and then we are done for the night. Four out of 25, Ray for Alston. We've, our night was booked up real fast. That'll go to the Heat, Zach, with the Heat. 
No Zions, no Jaws, all right. All right, let's get that select going. This is a little bit older select. This is where, it's the 16, 7, this is where we can find Ben Simmons rookie cards. Remember, Ben Simmons autographs are exclusive to Upper Deck. So consequently, all of his base cards that are in all these Panini products end up going for a decent amount. But yeah, for the most part, Rory, I think, I think you know, streets are empty. It takes me half the time to get to work now. Oh, nice Ben Simmons already right there. Not a silver, but still pretty cool. But yeah, it's a it's a tricky situation. I think it's going to be tricky for for any authorities who, I mean, there's no martial law. I mean, it's not like we're forced to stay indoors. Nobody's nobody setting up roadblocks and checkpoints and anything like that. If a cop pulls you over, I think they're really looking for maybe probably kids. You know what I mean? Easy AP. I was I was on time. We just had a little meeting that we had to do before the break. Relax, Arthur. I already have a boss AP. And you're not it. Eastwood with the Sixers. There's Dirk Nowitzki to 49. These LeBron James will ship too. Brandon Ingram. Out of two ninety nine, <laughs> never, Arthur, never. Unless you want to buy us out, and then I'm retiring. Tristan Thompson die cut calves. That'll be for John. Twelve out of ninety nine die cut for the calves. But yeah, it's if a cop pulls you over, I mean, you're, I mean, you're gonna tell him I'm going to work. That's not a public location. Carly Towns with one or two people working there at a, at a given time. And we need, and like, I need to live. What's a, what's a, what's a cop gonna say? No, <laughs> I'll be out of here before you know it, Arthur. Ball and chain to the floor. T.J. McConnell, Brandon Knight, Sparks Relic. Jamal Murray goes to Jeff Peace. He's been playing some good hoops. There's T.J. McConnell die cut. I think Lakers are still paying Luel Dang. Customers are always the bosses, Rex. You know who you know people you know who said who says stuff like that? People who don't run businesses say stuff like that. In all honesty, that would probably be true. I think Yelp has changed a lot of things because somewhat for for better or for worse, I think for a lot of business owners, like Yelp is like a blessing and a curse because especially for like rest not us, I mean this restaurants and coffee shops and stuff like that. It's been difficult because like a few bad reviews you know, just because and, and people just like actively do this now. They're they're just a holes at like a restaurant or something like that, trying to get something out of return or else you know, you're threatening 
a small business with like a bad Yelp review, you know. So it gets it gets gets tricky. The old customer is always right, saying it gets a little tricky these days in this day and age. Isaiah Thomas, Marcus Smart, thirty-eight out of forty-nine dual relic. That'll be for the Celtics, Mike Tower. We've got for the Pistons, Allen Houston, Golden Grass, fifty-one out of ninety. What year is this? Started just. 1617, all right, 1617. Nice, and we've got Isaiah Whiteside, Nets, to 199. You feel sorry for business to have Yelp, says, right? It's, it's, I'm telling you, it's, it's in this day and age, it's Bradley with the Nets gets tricky, you know? And then as the consumer, we have to read that and we're like, so what's real, what's not real? You know, businesses can reply, but... I don't know. Sometimes people hold businesses hostage with the threat of a bad Yelp review. You know, and then it just devolves into like he said, she said stuff. And then you're just like, well, I don't know what happens. Which ruins the customer is always right for everybody else. Because then you're like, oh. I don't know. It gets weird. Running a business is hard, ladies and gentlemen. Difficult. I mean, we're lucky enough not to be in a super competitive business. So as long as our customer service, as long as we're nice and our customer service is strong, then you know I think we're in we're in pretty good shape. But if you're in a competitive business, bars, restaurants, you know, like. Man, it, it gets difficult. You don't know if your rivals are like <laughs> writing like bad reviews. There are a lot of horror stories out there. I think these are all these mosaics will ship. These are especials. So just trying to see if there's any especial rookies here. No, Derek White, no Schroeder, Jabari. That one's numbered. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess we'll just do this. We're almost there. Yelp is garbage, AP says. It can be, yeah. Right, that's the auto down there. All right, there's David Robinson. And all of these cards will ship, of course. These are... Especial front row seat, Luka Doncic. Nice. There you go. This is this is nineteen twenty Donner's optics. No, this is eighteen nineteen Donner's optics. Huh? Could be a Luka in here. That'd be cool. Giannis, Lonzo. Reggie Jackson reveals a a worm. Dennis Rodman, legendary contender's autograph for Bradley and the Bulls. There you go. Six out of 99. Uh, I don't know. Arthur, this is a family show. But, I mean, in a case like that, you know. It could be rival establishments that are leaving those bad reviews, too. I know what that means, Arthur. Not everyone else in the room might. I remember, though. All right, there's DeMarcus Cousins for the Pelicans. To 70. It's not after hours yet. This is we're still at the 36 minute mark. Tobias Harris. Clippers, that'll be for William 
D Wade neon pink to 25. That'll be for Miami. That'll be for Zach. And I guess maybe we'll use a blank card here to hide the hits a little bit. We got use of Nurkic, triple threats, Trailblazers. Asa got the Trailblazers. Seven out of 25. He won that spot. De'Aaron Fox, next era relic. To 199. Anthony Davis, triple relic for the Pelicans. That's out of 10. Nice. Eight out of 10. Uh, for Jeremy, 33, and the Pels. We got Ante Zizic, Rising Stars on card autograph. Fourteen out of one ninety nine. That's for John. Terrence Ferguson two seventy out of two ninety nine jersey and autograph. That'll be for Rob and OKC. And we got a fox in the box, the Aaron Fox. RPA rookie jersey and autograph for the Kings. Bradley. I like that, De'Aaron Fox. I feel like. Kings. Kings could couple moves here and there. All right. All right. Prism Blaster. Maybe a, a Zion Silver. Jaw Silver. Any of that? RJ Barrett, Hachimura, Kendrick Nunn. Gogo Batadze, sensational relic for the Pacers. That's going to go to Matt DeVoe. There's Goga Green. Donovan Mitchell. Romeo Langford. Mia Oni, rookie silver. LeBron James is hyped. Mm, all right. All right, NT time. There you go. Let's finish strong with NT Collegiate Basketball. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, everyone, for getting in. Oh, we still have this, this Tatum to give away. That's a nice hit. Already graded for you. So one person in this break will get that Tatum. After a re-randomizing. And then we've got another box of this coming up right after this. It's a number block break. All right, we're going to lead off with Russell Westbrook, 25 out of 25. Um, I guess that will be... I'm so used to doing this as a number block break. It's got to be Rockets edition, right? To the checklist. To the checklist. Checklist. Going to the check checklist. 1920 National Treasures. Groupbreakchecklist.com. Basketball section. Scroll down to National Treasures. But it's got it's got to be Rockets. Can't, can't not be. Is there not a checklist for this? Did they not do a checklist for this? There's got to be a checklist for this. Hmm.
All right, I don't think there's a checklist for NT Collegiate. Group break checklist does not have it. I see Immaculate Collegiate, but not NT Collegiate. So, sorry. Oh, they actually have Immaculate Collegiate, though. That's the same thing. Do you guys have a groupbreakchecklist.com? All right, they do. Sorry, was not prepared for this. We're going to use Immaculate Collegiate. So this is a rocket. If there wasn't a checklist, then we'd have to go by our college rules, but Immaculate is a close cousin of NT, so I think it should be fine. All right, so Rockets with that one. That'll be for Matt Hedges. We've got Ignis Bredzikis and Mo Wagner, 18 out of 25. In case these guys are not on the checklist, then we will go by our college rules, the team they played for the longest. So this will be between... Brad Zekas, who I think is a Nick, right? Yeah, between the Knicks and the Wizards. Mo Wagner's on the Wizards. So that'll be a randomizer. So we're going by the Immaculate Collegiate checklist, which will be the same thing. We got Bruno Fernando, 21 out of 25, who is a... Hawk, I think. Yeah, sorry, Bradley. We, we should. I should have mentioned this earlier. I just, I just assumed that they'd have a checklist. Uh, but they don't. But Immaculate is a very close cousin, so from the same year. That'll go to Jason and the Hawks. There's Jackson Hayes. He's a Pelican. That I know. Twenty-three out of ninety-nine jersey and autograph. That'll be for Jeremy, 33, and the Pels. Oh, also, for those of you watching live, I'll drop the checklist I'm using as well. Sorry about that. I don't think there should be too many huge issues here. Grant Williams for the Celtics, 98 out of 99. From Tennessee, Tennessee Williams. Going to Boston, shipping up to Boston. Mike Tower with the C's. Boston. We got Tyler Hero. One out of five. And I think I saw another plate underneath. Wow. All right, good. We're we're finishing this this mixer on a on a hot note here. Zach with the Miami Heat. Nice. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Then the plate is a jersey and autograph. Carl Anthony Towns. One of one for the T Wolves. A wild cat has appeared for Stephen and Stephen B. and the Minnesota Timberwolves. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right, yeah, we're, we're finishing on a nice note here. We got another one and then the book. We got Rui Hachimura. Nice, 77 out of 99. Mike Tower in the Washington Wizards with the three-color jersey and autograph. I think that stripe in the middle counts as a third color. Uh, Different shade there. There we go. Mike Tower with Washington. All right. And the book. Bradley saying one of one should always be on card. Yeah, I'm not 
too much of a stickler for, for, for stickers. I don't, I don't think I care as much as other people. Do. I do care when it's a plate, though. You know? Because it just looks like they just kind of slapped it on haphazardly. But, but yeah, he should be. Should be. All right. And the book. Uh, we got, what, you North Carolina colors? Yeah. Kobe. White. Dual relic and autograph. Nice one for Bradley and the Bulls. 50 out of 59. There you go, Brad. A couple Bulls in this break. I don't have a slider box next to me, but I'll put it in there. And there you have it, boys and girls. All right, now, let's see who wins that randomizer, and then we'll see who gets no points in this break, which is nice. And I'll do a brief recap after this, too. All right, so let's close that. All right, so New York Knicks. That's for the dual relic and the Washington Wizards. And then everyone has a shot at the uh, Jason Tatum. All right, don't worry, Stephen Kelly. You still have a shot at that Jason Tatum, graded 9-5. All right, both of those will be randomized three and a one, four times. Good luck. We do this one first. One, two, three. And a one, four times. That'll be for Washington. So there you go, Mike Tower. Thanks to Mo Wagner, you'll get this dual relic. All right, now let's see who gets the Jason Tatum. Graded a 9-5. Three and a one, four times. Good luck, everyone. One. Two, three, and a one. Fourth and final time. Good luck and congrats to... And thanks everyone for getting in. Appreciate it. Matt DeVoe, who won that spot in Cello Pack 29. Congrats to you that Jason Tatum is going to go your way. There you go. From 1718, Donner's Optic Basketball. Rated rookie, Tatum Hollow, centering, edges, corner, surface, all a 9-5. Excellent. So there you go. There was that dual relic right there with Brad Zekas and Mo Wagner. Doing a quick little recap here. There's the Kobe White. I'll we'll set that right there. Let's go through. You just saw the NT. So let's do the some of the ones we did earlier. So not... Not too bad of a mixer at all. Some solid stuff. A chance at that Tatum. Finish the break off strong. Saw some old blasts from the past. These Jamal Murray, like the Silvers are pretty solid. That Ben Simmons is pretty strong too. Rookie Ben Simmons is Chuma Okiki. Some throwback threads. Some old Elite. James Harden out of that Elite, which was pretty unique. Ja Morant. R.J. Barrett, Trey Young, DeAndre Ayton, Luka Doncic rated rookie. And these are our first early autographs out of the first couple boxes. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our shipping team will top load all of these before they're sorted. And then they'll ship out to you as soon as we can. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll break more with you next time. Bye-bye.